Hello and happy new year. We are now officially in 2023. And I thought for the first video back this year, I would talk about why your smartphone might hold you back from success in 2023. So January is obviously the time we all set amazing goals for the year ahead. Maybe we set some resolutions, things that we intend to change about our lives. And hopefully we manage to keep those up. Um, but it is definitely the time for change, isn't it, in January and for that kind of renewed vigour to do all of the right things in life. But how much might your phone hold you back from achieving those things? I think often we don't think about the, you know, what might get in the way of us achieving our goals or what might get in the way of us meeting our New Year's resolutions. Um, but I think it's really powerful that we do and then we can overcome those things so that we can actually have a higher chance of success and meeting our goals. So why might your smartphone then be something that holds you back? Well, first of all, let's look at the flip side of it. Of course, your smartphone could be something that helps you with this. For example, if you're looking to, lo you, um, to lose weight, you might use calorie counting apps or exercise apps and that kind of thing. So of course, there are ways in which they can help you achieve that. I'm going to talk about the kind of the negative side and how they might hold you back from that. And I think the most obvious one is the element of time. So at the moment, the average person is spending four hours a day on their phone, which works out at two whole months a year without sleep. So two whole 24 hour day months a year. Now, when it comes to achieving our goals and working towards our goals, it takes time. Everything, pretty much everything that we want to achieve is going to take some time. So if your New Year's resolution was to do more for others, that's going to take time. If it was to lose weight, that's going to get, take up some of your time too. If it was to read more, you're going to need the time to read and so on. So time is a huge factor, but yet we're giving two whole months of our time every year to our phones. We're giving it to a device by scrolling mindlessly, doing things that aren't actually leading us towards our goals. So time has got to be one of the biggest aspects of this. You know, if you reduced your phone use by half, that would give you a whole, and you're an average user, that would give you a whole month back every year for you to move towards your goals, for you to take time on going towards what you're looking to achieve. So time is obviously going to be one of the biggest factors in this because time is so important in helping us to achieve our goals. But there are lots of other factors too, such as sleep. Um, our smartphones negatively impact our sleep. I've got a whole video about this, which I will pop just up here for you to look at um, as to how we might need to change our smartphone use so that we get more sleep because the less sleep we get, the more likely we are to procrastinate, to be low mood, to not do the things that help lead us towards our goals. Focus and attention. We need to focus and pay attention when it comes to achieving our goals. Smartphone use negatively impacts that. Um, creativity. Sometimes we need to be creative and we need to express our creativity in achieving our goals. Smartphone use holds that back. Mental health. You know, it's really important that we are of a, a great mental health. Our mental health is good in order to help us achieve our goals. But yet smartphone use negatively impacts that. So there are lots of factors behind this. And I'm going to be talking more about all the different ways in which your smartphone use might hold back your success in 2023 in a free webinar on Monday the 16th of January at 12pm. And in that webinar, I will be talking about why you need to use your phone less in 2023 and also how to do it. Because it's nice and easy to say that you need to, you need to stop using your phone but it honestly isn't as simple as that. So I'll be sharing some quick actions that you can take that will have a big impact on how often you find yourself scrolling on your phone. I will pop the link below for you to register for that webinar. If you're watching this video too late and the webinar has already happened, that link will have been changed to one in which you can register to get the download, to get the recording, sorry of the webinar. So don't worry if you're watching this thinking, damn, I missed the 16th of January. You can just click on that link and you will be able to put your name and email address in to be sent the recording of the webinar. But I hope you can join me live on the 16th of January at 12 p.m. 
and I'm going to be talking a lot more about this and making sure that your phone doesn't get in the way of your 2023 success. See you there.